Meet the gang, cause the boys are here, the boys to entertain you. With music and laughter to help you on your way, to raising the rafters with a hey, hey, hey. With songs and sketches and jokes old and new, with us about you and Phil Blue. So meet the gang, cause the boys are here, the boys to entertain you. B O B O Y S boys to entertain you. I hope Atlas Sap is keeping a good lookout. Ever since we heard a black panther was seen near the village, I could not sleep a wink. It may be out there in the jungle now, waiting to pounce on us. <laughs> have you ever seen any black panther? Yes, 11. You have seen 11 black panthers? What did they do? Lost 4 nil. <laughs> the football team, you damn silly coolie cook. <laughs> I'm talking about giant pussycat with yellow eyes. I'll tear you to pieces. Everything all right, Atlas? All right. You haven't seen out of that Black Panther, have you? <laughs> Black Panther. That's just a story put out by old shut up to keep us on our toes. <laughs> it's the Nassim. What is that? <laughs> Is coming from concert party Basha. Oh, blind! Well, I think I'll get my head down. Sobs, sobs, we have seen the Black Panther. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what are you talking about? <laughs> the Black Panther, it is creeping round Gloria Saab's charpoy. Rubbish. <laughs> Listen, Saab. <laughs> Panthers don't make noises like that. It depends what they've eaten. <laughs> He may have eaten lofty sub. I wouldn't think so. Panthers are very fussy eaters. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, sub! Shoot it! Shoot it! Oh, it's Gloria. <laughs> oh, stop looking about, Gloria. I nearly shot you then. <laughs> What's the matter with him? I think she's finally flipped her lid. <laughs> Get her up. Some sleep. Yeah, what's the matter with Gloria? I'll show you. <laughs> he keeps doing that all the time. Very odd. You've woken me up. I was having a lovely dream. I dreamt I was at the Scala Milan. <laughs> Singing? No eating a plate of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Is he drunk? Perhaps she was drinking Pagal Pani Sap. That makes you go, oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Slow down. Listen, fellas, do you think we ought to wake old Shut Up up? It's all this noise about. How dare you wake everybody up in the middle of the night? Bombardier, Beaumont is sick, Sergeant Major. Shut up. On your feet, Beaumont. <gasps> I said, on your feet. Really is ill, Sergeant. Shut up! He's swinging a lead. Try to work his ticket out of the army, but it won't work. I really would advise caution, Sergeant Major. He might be seriously ill. Oh, I really would advise caution, Sergeant Major. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll inform the officers. And you better be sick, Bowman, otherwise you're on a fizzer. Here, fellas. What's happening? Someone seen the Black Panther? It's disgusting making those things roam about. I've a good mind to write to my MP. <laughs> Captain Ashwood, sir, wake up. What is it, Sergeant Major? A body of Bowman's are making very strange noises, sir. What sort of noises? <coughs> sir. I informed the Colonel. No. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ha. <laughs> what on earth, sir? What would you Beaumont making strange noises? Can you woke me up just to tell me that? He's always making strange noises. Go back to bed. I think you ought to come, sir. Oh, really? You've done it now, Beaumont. The Colonel don't like to be woken up in the middle of the night. 
What is all this, Sergeant Major? Tell the Colonel. Of that, Ashwood? Well, it's a tricky one, so mm. <laughs> I think he's trying to say something. Uh, if I might venture to suggest, sir, uh, mm. should he write it down? Yeah, good idea. Write down what's the matter with you, Bemmer. I could read what he's written, sir. <laughs> Can you hear that, sir? Lieutenant <laughs> Parkins is going to read what he has written. <laughs> a very alert soldier, sir. <laughs> read it, Parkins. Yes, sir. I'll keep going. Uh. Uh, uh. <laughs> and falling down. <laughs> we all know that. This boy's a blithering idiot, Sergeant Major. If, if I might hazard a guess, sir. No, me, you may not hazard nothing, Mr. Lardy Dark on a Graham. You've done quite enough hazarding for one evening, so shut up. No, no, no. Let him speak. He knows about these things. He could have pressure against his inner ear, and this will cause him to fall over. We'll have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in there, sir. <laughs> You're looking at his outer ear, Sergeant Major. His inner ear is inside, out of sight. What are you on about? <laughs> These are his outer ears, Sergeant <laughs> And he has an inner ear here and an inner ear here. Rubbish! How <laughs> did he have four years? <laughs> yes, Sergeant Major. Didn't you do biology at school? Well, I went to school, so we didn't do any holidays. <laughs> I've got an idea, sir. If I blow in this ear, the pressure will go right through and shift what's pressing against the inner ear here. <laughs> Gunner Parkins has done it again, sir! <laughs> there is, how do you If Parkins blows through this ear, the pressure won't go through because of Beaumont's brains. His head isn't empty, eh? It's a matter of opinion, sir. <laughs> what else can we do? Unless we get Gunner Sugden to... Climb inside and have a look. <laughs> Gunner Sugden, climb in. Sorry, Major, this is no joking matter. The boy could be seriously ill. I still think he's swinging the lead, sir. Well, I'm not prepared to take any chances. Look, get Parkins to radio through to GHQ. I want an MO here first thing in the morning. All right, chaps, back to bed. Come along, Major. Good night, lovely boy. Yes, sir. Radio signal first in the morning. You, the hockey cook, keep and pair. Oh. <laughs> the airboat should be here by now. I'm going out in the road in case he misses the turning. All right, sir, I'll get Beaumont ready. On parade, Bombardier! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he should be wearing all this kit, Sergeant Major. Shut up! These <laughs> regulations clearly state that in the event of personnel going sick, they will parade in full kit! He's very sick. Shut up, he's not sick until the M.O. says he's sick. Hold him up. <laughs> this is sheer brutality. It's barbaric. <laughs> is Beaumont fit to go sick? Yes, sir. <laughs> Quite fit to go sick, sir. Take all that stuff off him and put him in my basha. Take his shoes off and put him on my bed. Now, look here, Sergeant Major. Until the M.O. says otherwise, Beaumont is sick. Clear? I still think he's putting it on, sir. He's said three doctors, sir. What on earth? Oh, I really don't Good morning. I'm Colonel Reynolds. Oh, Bridges, Colonel Bridges. These are my colleagues, Captains Webb and Hudson. Ah, you weren't expecting three doctors. Safety in numbers, eh? <laughs> no. Actually, uh, we're a mobile uh, medical unit, and as we're passing, GHQ asked us to look in. Where's the patient? In my bar, sir. Us here. Take a look at him, Webb, would you? Yes, sir. You're that a concert party lot, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, yes. Have you caught our show? I'd sooner catch dysentery. <laughs> I think you ought to have a look at this man, Colonel. All right. Damn, up. Hmm? Do you think it would be possible for one of the learned doctors to look at my left leg? It's all swollen up. I wouldn't worry about it. If it was your left leg that was swollen up, sub, I would not worry about it either. <laughs> Corporal Higgins! Hey, sir! Are you feet up? What are they doing to him in there, Ashwood? They're, uh, they're poking and prodding him all over, sir. Uh, 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 
He can't carry on much longer, sir. Not with three doctors going over him. They'll soon cut him out. Is it serious, Colonel? There's nothing wrong with him. I thought so. 42 men arrest for what? Just a minute, Sergeant Major. I mean, there's nothing physically wrong with him. It's psychosomatic. Is that catching, sir? <laughs> psychosomatic means it's all in the mind. The moment here is very highly strung, a sensitive young man. Conditions here in the jungle, very harsh. have got him down a bit. He's completely withdrawn. Is there a cure? Yes, I think so. He needs a shock. Something to pull him out of it. Shall I kick him up the arm backside? <laughs> I don't think we need anything quite as crude as that. <laughs> no, we've got to be rather subtle, delicate about this, you see. Lend me your revolver, would you? Uh... <laughs> oh, trust me, I know what I'm doing. Thank you. Surely they're not going to put him down, sir. <laughs> don't be absurd, Ashwood. You ask me, it's the kindest thing to do, sir. <laughs> He's a burden to himself and all around him. Oh, 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 he's mad! He's trying to kill me! Oh, he's trying to get a bottle of air! He's trying to kill me! Oh, calm down, calm down. I didn't shoot at you. I fired at the ground. Look what you've done to my boots! <laughs> well, you shouldn't have left it lying on the floor. Anyhow, it's done the trick. He's back to normal. Well, it must be a miracle then, sir. <laughs> Nothing could make him normal. <laughs> right. Don't sort yourself out, Bowman. I want you and the men on parade in five minutes. Move it! You. Corporal. Yes, sir. What sort of unit is this? They're a concert party, sir. A concert party? Well, that doesn't help the war effort, eh? In my view, they're expendable. What do you think? I agree, sir. Expendable. Yes, sir. Totally expendable. Well, I don't think we need to look any further, gentlemen, eh? No. They'd be perfect. Right then, we're agreed. Oh, Colonel. Ah, uh, yes? I think I ought to explain to you that we're a prophylactic unit. Oh, you were. That's interesting. <laughs> yes, we are carrying out some uh, anti-malaria experiments. We wonder whether your chaps might like to cooperate. Oh, yes. Um, Ashwood. Yeah? Uh, these gentlemen are a prophylactic unit. Oh, good. <laughs> They're carrying out anti-malaria experiments, and uh, they wanted to use the concert party as guinea pigs. What do you think? Well, I don't know, sir. Could be a bit dodgy. Yes, I agree. It could be. About six months ago, you know, we carried out several experiments on a service corps unit. The colonel got the MBE. Ah. What about the captain? God mentioned in dispatches. Uh, well, I think we might go along with this, eh, hey, Rashford? Well, Definitely. <laughs> Better have a word with the inside major fellow. Uh, Mr. Williams. Uh, these gentlemen are a prophylactic unit. Uh, they want to carry out experiments on the concert party. Now, what do you think? Is it painful? <laughs> well, it could be. I'm all for it. <laughs> uh, which part of the body is the prophylactic? <laughs> <laughs> prophylactic means preventative, in this case, uh, an antidote for malaria. Do you think the men will be willing to act as guinea pigs? Oh, I'm sure they will, sir. They don't like acting as soldiers. <laughs> You, of course, won't have to take part in the experiment, Sergeant Major, but you will receive an extra large ration of chocolates, beer, and cigarettes, along with the men. Sounds very generous, sir. Uh, what are the experiments? A seven-day course of injection. And how big are the injections? Oh, about that big. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. Mind you, Sergeant Major, we can't force the concert party to take on these experiments. Uh, They'll have to volunteer of their own free will. I'll leave it to me, sir. I shall see that they volunteers. Of their own free will. Major, I protest. This is inhuman treatment. I, I wish to speak to Colonel Reynolds. You cannot speak to Colonel Reynolds, Mr. Lardy Dargan of Graham, because he and Captain Ashwood is not here. Now, when I give you the order, and not before, you can fall out for five minutes' rest. Oh. Then can we have a drink? That will not be necessary, Gunner Sugden, because this afternoon we is doing river crossing. <laughs> <laughs> Underwater. <laughs> 
Just have a yourself. Just have a look. Take us to the mesa. Asin. After river crossing, we shall spend the rest of the day rock breaking. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Because there's too many big rocks lying about. <laughs> he was going to do jungle tidying. <laughs> I want the jungle neat, neat, neat. <laughs> Every tree on the perimeter will be whitewashed. <laughs> But we've got to have a drink of water, Sergeant. Yes, 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 so yes, so yes, 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 steady boy, steady. Wait. There is one way out. How would you like one week's excuse duties? Nothing to do all day but lie around on your charpoys. Extra rations, chocolate, individual tin treacle puddings, <laughs> tinned rich Dundee cakey with almonds, cherries. <laughs> and marzipan. <laughs> Double fags! <laughs> and all the beer you can drink. You're a sadist. <laughs> Stop torturing us! I can't stand it anymore! I can't stand it! Oh dear. How sad. <laughs> All you want to do is volunteer to take some medicine, stop you getting malaria. What sort of medicine, Sergeant Major? What sort, Andy boy? Just ordinary medicine. How much? Ooh, not that much. <laughs> is it nasty? You won't even taste it. <laughs> I'll give you five minutes to discuss it amongst yourselves. Sergeant Major. Could we have a drink while we're discussing it? No, my dear. You cannot have a drink. A fallout. Here, fellas. What do you think? Oh, you heard what he said. Mm. As much beer as you can drink. And ten treacle puddings. Yeah, and Dundee cake with almonds and cherries. Oh. And marzipan. Yeah, marzipan. <sighs> what do you think, Nusha? Well, you know me. I don't come cheap. <laughs> But for that sort of grub, I'll sell my soul. <laughs> <laughs> With you all, can't you see it's a trick? Why should they give us all that stuff just to get us to take some medicine? Yeah, you're right. It's a trick. We we'll say no. Agreed, fellas. Yes, right, right. right. Sergeant Major. Yes, lovely boy. We don't want to take the medicine. Oh, well, that's a pity. However, I, uh, I just think you've made up your mind a little sharpish, like. So I'm going to give you a little while longer to think about it. And uh, you don't mind if I have a drink while I'm waiting, do you? <laughs> A shower! I want you and old Cookie by here to join me in a glass of cool, refreshing beer. That is very kind of you, Sergeant Major Sam. But it is against my religion to drink beer. Never mind. You can have a bottle of Vimto. Oh, Sergeant Major Sam, you are a tough old fellow, always thinking of others. I know. <laughs> Pour it slowly. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Good health. Buttons up. Hair skin off your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Now, lovely boys. All you got to do is sign these bits of paper to say that you was volunteering to take the medicine of your own free will, and you can have two bottles each. Now there is the beer, there is the papers, and by here is the pen. The man is ready to take their medicines. Oh, good. I want to have a word with them. Let's go, China! <laughs> All right, stand at ease, gentlemen. Now, before I explain what's going to happen, I want to say how proud I am that you volunteered for this experiment. By your efforts, 
you have furthered the cause of medical science in the true British tradition. You can shove this stuff into rats and monkeys, but sooner or later you've got to have people. I mean, where would Alexander Fleming have been without people to shove his mouldy stuff into? <laughs> where would Lister have been without people to be antiseptic with? <laughs> and where would... Um, Charles Smith. Yes, where would Charles Smith have... Who's Charles Smith? The captain of the Titanic. <laughs> anyway, I'm very pleased you volunteered of your own free will. Excuse me, sir. Shut up! <coughs> How dare you address the commanding officer without asking for permission? May I have permission? Certainly not. Are you ready? Come along, Ashwood. <clears throat> shirts off. Why have we got to take our shirts off? Well, it's more hygienic, isn't it? I mean, you don't want medicine all down in nice, clean uniforms. <laughs> and don't forget, lovely boys, now, when you are your medicine, there's a nice big bar of chocolate for each of you. Now then, you see how uh, Bombardier Bowman is standing? I'm sorry, sir. All right, boys, all right, come over here. I want you all to stand like that. No. <laughs> Ready, Corporal. Here. What's he doing that for? To stop a lot of nasty germs getting in your little arm. We're going to be injected. What? You never said anything about injections. Mm. You just said we're going to have some medicine and we wouldn't taste it. Well, it won't taste it. <laughs> it might hurt, but it won't taste it. <laughs> like first, man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Oh, there's no need to kneel down. <laughs> I'm not kneeling down. <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. I bet he screams the place down. That's funny, he hasn't made a sound. He may be little, but he's very determined. Can I borrow a couple of you chaps for a moment, please? <laughs> This chocolate. I'll take that, sir. <laughs> oh. Uh, next. <laughs> you either have to shove it in harder or get another needle. <laughs> Did you hear that? He's about as sensitive as a telegraph pole. <laughs> Where's the chocolate? Here, yeah. <laughs> Nosha. What's it like? Throat and nut. <laughs> <laughs> You're next. Yeah, glory. Yes. Glory. Right. Got a tip for you, son. Well, but... Whatever you do, don't look. Thanks, Nubby. I won't look. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Just... Will you hold? Oh, don't stay here, Ashwood. Will you stand still? Oh! Hold this up. Oh, hold I it. am holding it. <laughs> Will you stand still, man? Ow! <laughs> you silly ass! I got that lot. Well, in that case, here's your chocolate. taken all their temperatures orderly? Yes, sir. They're all quite normal. Well, that's a relief. How much longer is Colonel Bridges going to be? He'd no right to rush off to JSQ like that. It was rather urgent, sir. I don't like the look of them, you know. Are you all right, Sergeant Major? You don't look too good. A bit under the weather, sir. Uh, sorry about that. One or two urgent cases to see to. Everything all right? No, it isn't. Well, what's happened, Webb? Well, the men are perfectly fit in themselves, sir. Only, uh... Only what? Where are they? in their basher and they won't come out. I can't say I blame them. What are you talking about? Well, perhaps I'd better see them. Get the first three eyes first, Major, would you? That's my view, sir! I was out here, let me jump on! Look, 
Look what you've done to us. I've lost my looks. <laughs> oh, it's, it's only a minor allergy. Minor? Yes, all be cleared up in a few days. <laughs> oh, you better get the next three in. Uh... Get his grand party shut down now! <laughs> I think I ought to tell you, Sergeant Major, I intend to take action over this. But I think I ought to tell you, Mr. Lord Dargona Graham, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> you sign them papers of your own free will. All right, all right, all right. Have a look at you. They look awful, Sergeant Major. Oh, I don't know, sir. You rather suit them. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. Oh, yes, of course. Now, you're the chap that got it by mistake. Yes, and I'm going to sue you. Why, you look perfectly normal to me. Normal? Do you call this normal? <laughs> oh, that'll soon grow in again. <laughs> ah, well, Bombardier, at least it hasn't affected you. What are you going to do about this? <laughs> I think I should uh, write him out a chitty for a brasser. <laughs> Look here, chaps, I do, I do want you to know that I appreciate your taking part in these experiments. As you can probably guess, we have one or two creases to sort of iron out. But, uh, as the man says, Rome wasn't built in a day, and uh, we in the side... What's the matter with you, Sergeant Major? I, 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 Pardon? I, 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 Why, uh, get him to his basher quickly, orderly. Right, sir. I hope it's not what I think it is. He's got it! He's got malaria! Serves him right! To every man who sins comes nemesis. Mm. Has he got that as well? <laughs> Let's have another pee, Pat. No. Oh, go on. <laughs> oh, very well. <laughs> you no need to worry. You know what they say about baldness? It's a sign of virility. A fat lot of good that's going to do me out here. <laughs> <laughs> Is it malaria? Well, he doesn't have all the symptoms, because we, we won't really know until we have a blood test, but it's my guess that all this talk of malaria has affected him mentally. You mean it's psychosomatic? Yes, could be. Well, there's only one way to find out. May I borrow your revolver? Yes, yes, of course. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. So it was psychosomatic after all, so I well, That's as may be, sir. The doctor, you better take a look at your colonel. I think he shot his toe off. Boys to entertain you! 